The goal of this research is to meta-learn new reinforcement learning algorithms that can be reused in different environments. We are given an RL environment, such as this lunar lander. In conventional RL, we as researchers would invent a learning algorithm, say a policy gradient, to maximize the expected reward. We expect this algorithm to not only work in this specific environment, but to be applicable to a wide range of them. In this work, we investigate whether it is possible to meta-learn a similarly general algorithm that can be run instead of the human-engineered variant. This would allow us to leverage large quantities of data for algorithm design instead of relying on the limited human ability to find the right inductive biases. Unfortunately, generalization to entirely different environments was not achieved in meta-RL until now. In this work, we represent our learning algorithm similar to human-engineered variants. We define an objective function L parameterized by an LSTM that produces a loss. Some of the inputs depend on the policy parameters, such as the predicted action distribution or the hidden state. This allows us to learn the policy using this objective function by backpropagation. A policy gradient, for example, is in the space of learnable algorithms. Here, the subset of inputs required would be the rewards and action log probabilities. Meta general has two phases, meta training and meta testing. We first look at meta-training, which involves meta-learning the parameters alpha of the objective function. In meta-general, a population of agents situated in different environments make use of a single objective function as their learning algorithm. At the same time, their collective experiences also serve to improve the objective function via meta-learning. More specifically, the experience of each agent can be used to compute a gradient on alpha, as we will see next. Given the current agent parameters phi, we will first apply the current objective function to yield updated parameters phi prime. Next, we run the updated agent in the environment, and use a Q function to estimate how well the updated policy is able to perform. Notice how, by unrolling a computational graph, the output of Q is now a function of the parameters alpha of the objective function. This allows us to calculate a second order gradient in the direction that we expect the objective function to improve most. We then repeat this procedure for each agent in the population and average the gradients to improve the objective function. Because of this formulation, we don't have to discard the policies after each meta-learning step. Instead, we maintain a diverse and changing population of policies and make few updates to each agent for a single meta-update. Further, by using Q-values, we can increase the meta-learning sample efficiency through off-policy data. After we have meta-trained an objective function, we can discard all current policies and proceed with meta-testing. We initialize a new RL agent from scratch and place it in a new environment. Instead of using a human-engineered algorithm, we use the meta-learned algorithm to improve the policy. In the following experimental evaluation, we have meta-trained with a population of 20 agents, 10 of them acting in half cheetah and 10 in lunar lander. Due to the sample efficiency of meta-training, we only use 600,000 environment interactions for each agent. We compare to two baselines, RL squared and EPG. Compared to RL squared, we expect meta-general to perform better in terms of generalization because it separates the policy and the learning algorithm. This prevents hard coding too specific information about the environment directly during meta-training. Compared to EPG, which also has such a separation, we expect to be much more sample efficient due to our agent population and off-policy data. In our experiments, we train RL squared for 100 million and EPG for 1 billion steps. First, we meta-test a new agent on Lunar Lander, an environment it was previously trained on. Our baseline, RL squared, immediately achieves optimal performance, whereas EPG doesn't seem to find a good solution given the number of interactions we considered. Our trained objective function successfully reaches the optimal policy, and the best performing objective function gets there even faster. When testing the baseline RL squared on Hopper, a significantly different environment, it appears to have overfit to the training distribution. In contrast, our meta-learned objective function generalizes and allows learning even in the significantly different environment. Not only does meta-general generalize better than previous meta-learning algorithms, it even largely outperforms human-engineered ones, such as on policy reinforce, off policy reinforce, and PPO. On several environments, the meta-learned algorithm is competitive to DDPG as well. More experiments such as ablations, additional environments, and an analysis of the learning behavior can be found in the paper. In summary, we have introduced MetaGeneral, a framework to meta-learn objective functions that generalize to environments that are quite different from the training distribution. Please join us at the poster or follow any of these links to learn more.